Well, I think the first time I met Malcolm when he was talked about Bradley, I immediately liked a lot of people thought the logos. And that, that was my sort of, uh, the start of my journey, I suppose, to understand really what branding and the place branding is, is truly about. Um, what a slide here. I mean, I've sort of, you, to illustrate it, I've used things that Mark and I have worked on together. I've got here uh, five places. That's what they rather, unfortunately, term the Twin Towers. And uh, um, that's called KLCC, Kuala Lumpur City Centre. But it isn't in the city centre. Confused branding there. This is a place called Petra Sands, which is a a museum recording in Petroleum. The, um, the Petronas or Petronas offices and a place called Surya Mall. And what they, all these places have in common is actually they're all the same place. Um, but they've got very, very confused branding. So you've got these there, the, uh, the Twin Towers, or as we probably more like known as Petronas Towers. This one is the offices for Petronas. Uh, this one is actually lit um, to non-corporate tenants, which a lot of people don't appreciate. You can see the famous sky bridge there uh, that, um, that um, I don't remember, Sean Connery or something or hanging off there. Um, then the Surya Mall is actually the ground, the four ground floors of the same building. Uh, the front, front garden is, is what's known as KLCC. Um, and you know, they've got a very, you know, had a very confused branding. Actually, the work Mark and I were doing was actually trying to turn this into a visitor centre because it was more into a visitor attraction uh, as a destination. Because it was never built with the intention of um, members of the public going there. The, 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 the famous bridge was actually a fire escape. Um, and suddenly, um, Dubai had a tower and the family um, the Prime Minister of Malaysia said that they've got one, we've got to have one, and that they, he forced Petrus to open the task to the public, and frankly, it's a shambles to any of you who may have been to have a look. Um, another one of situation is the project actually we're working on at the moment in um, Slovakia is, is interesting. Now, when you look at this building, you would look at it and you would think, what is it? Um, and you know, I think our first reaction was when we were driving past, we didn't notice we thought it was maybe a factory or a warehouse or perhaps some offices, but surprisingly it's a shopping centre. Um, with absolutely no clue as to its own identity. Um, it's situated in, a, in the middle of the student quarter in Bratislava, uh, 15,000 students, and yet this shopping centre, which is the only shopping centre in that area, has absolutely no shops, that, apart from one supermarket, no shops to cater to the student population. Um, they, it's, a, it's a suburban shopping centre and yet the whole of the top floor is taken up with, um, with high quality secondary brand fashion. Um, the, um, when, we, uh, when you approach it, I should have done a photo of that, but there is on the steps leading up to it, there's a, there's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Um, the, all these brands are, are Parisian brands and that are sold on the, on the upper floor. And the owner said to us as we pulled up to him, he said, I, I've managed to acquire a model of the Eiffel Tower from a gentleman in eastern uh, Slovakia. And this was all interesting. And then within about two hours, he was talking to me, he said, I just can't understand why all the public think we're a French shopping centre. Mm -hmm. um, and so you, you've got this whole confusion of branding. And this is the point. It's not just about the imagery. It's about the whole concept. And, and here, the owners of this just don't even understand what, what their concept is, uh, some of the ways they use the centre. Um, and you know, from my point of view, and I'm a development surveyor, I come at it from a very practical point of view. But you know, I, even I can see that here, they've got some major issues over their brand, their brand being how they perceive themselves. Because other, others will perceive you as you perceive yourselves, and the, and the message comes across quite strongly. The last thing I just wanted to talk about is, is a concept that Mark and I worked on again. It's sort of it's connected with the experience master planning, and this is um, a brand concept which we called uh, experience retail. Um, to try and you know, we are applying it to the shopping centre in the previous slide, but it's a it's a concept that can be applied generically to to any place in terms of retail, whether that be a shopping centre or a high street or an out of town retail park or anything. 
but we we developed it because we felt that you know so much of the the high street has become mundane and boring, uh, and as I think you know, a lot of people say that. Uh, Retail is the new leisure, but you still need to put some some dwell time and some things in that will attract them. And I'll go very very quickly through this. Uh, uh, the, the presentation will be available, I believe, afterwards, so you can look at it in more detail. But just um, you know, looking at the things that this is this. experienced retail is actually about shopping led entertainment. Uh, it's about you know, enjoying shopping, um, and it does that using the sort of mix of. Uh, of attract things to attract people, all which is all kind of part of a brand position. Um, and experience retail is, is a, let's say, a generic overview that can be tailored towards what people want from their brand position. Um, where are we going? Um, it's looking at you know, it's innovative. Uh, it um, looks to increase footfall, to increase dwell time, uh, and this is all part of a, of a place brand, in my view. Um, so, it's about place, place is about experience, and experience retail is a brand. So therefore, from, from what I've seen of this in action, it does, uh, place branding does lead to success of a place. 